Hi guys, today I have some new issues for you for the Easterbreeze E2000 set up together with a Sun Wind Grid tie inverter. I will talk about the difference between 3 blades or 5 blades setup, especially on I2000, and I will show you a really big problem with the 5 blades hub and how to fix it. And finally, at the end of the video, I have a new better setup for 5 blades. Some people ask me for a new video and they want to see how I lower and rise my mast. So my video starts up with the lowering. The speed is 5 times faster, normally I will lower and rise it up in about 30 minutes. But see for yourself. There are some problems with 5 blades. The first one, you can't change. The 5 blades from Easterbreeze have exactly the same geometry like the free ones. I think they are designed for free, but okay, it works. Another issue is, 5 blades have much more torch at the same wind speed. We speak about 60% more effective surface area, so you have to lower the rotation speed by change your settings for the inverter. Also 5 blades are more aggressive on gusts. If you stop your generator by shortcut, you will probably have to do this earlier. Also, it's possible that 5 blades are more noisy because of the wrong geometry and probably they won't get the last maximum power out of the i2000 generator. But I talk about the last watts over 1600. To avoid damage, it is necessary to stop the i2000 at 1200 watts at latest. So, who cares about the last 400 watts? If you won't stop the generator, it could overheat or get damaged. If you stop it too late with shortcut, it won't stop and burns down. Now you see the main problem. Mr. Breeze sells the 5 blades hub with very poor quality. It is much too thin. They told me on chat it is made for a maximum wind speed of 20 meter per seconds. Just a joke, I think. 20 meter per seconds happens all over the world. I got these pictures from the German wind forum. A gust of 25 damaged the 5 blades hub strongly. And here you see how I fix this. I got myself a 5mm thick stainless steel plate. The outer diameter was chosen to fit under the top cover and the inner diameter to fit over the pickup point. Two whole circles for the screws of the blades and a thickness of 5mm would be enough. I don't want it to rise up the weight more as necessary. During the mounting, here is my opinion about 3 or 5 blades. The i2000 generator has a high startup torch. It's about 50 grams on 1 meter that are needed to start a rotation. That means 0.5 newton meters. This is a little high. The cheap Easter Breeze generator made in Turkey can't do it better. Because of this, the startup speed with 3 blades is about 6 meter per second wind speed. Much too late. Once started up, the i2000 3 blades generate you 150 watts, according to the wind tunnel test at 6 meters per second. But you need the gas to stop uh, to start. If your average wind speed is more than 6 meters per second, the 3 blades setup would be pretty good for you. But if not, the 5 blades hub is the better option. The i2000 with 5 blades start up at 3 meter per second and directly generates you 20 watts. Up to 6 meter per second you probably will see 200 watts, provided the following settings. So while 3 blades are in sleep, up to 6 meters, uh, the 5 blades still generate 20 to 
200 watts for you. Finally, if your average wind speed is not the best, choose 5 blades, but mount my shown blade. If your average wind speed is high, choose the 3 blades and be happy without any changes. It was tested up to 60 meters per second without damage.